Pattern 1 from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sarah Jennings. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Introduction to Chair Covers. And Pattern 1. German Pattern of Open Double Knitting, Both Sides Alike. Receipts for 12 Chair Covers in Different Patterns. As the number of stitches required to work each pattern will be mentioned, these patterns can easily be adapted for any other purpose, and are, most of them, well adapted for doilies. Some of the most open patterns are suitable for Shetland shawls, and as the majority of chair covers are now done in coloured wool, the colours and numbers of shades will be described, though if wished in white, the linen thread, number one, is the proper material to be used. Pattern 1 German pattern of open double knitting, both sides alike. Large wooden pins are required for this pattern, which is done in double or eight threaded wool, in five colors that contrast well, claret, gold color, blue, white, scarlet, and four rows of each, worked in the order they are here placed. Cast on 71 stitches. First row, seam one, make one, slip one. This row is only to begin with, and is not repeated, the whole of the knitting being done as the second row. Seam two together, make one by passing the wool round the pin, slip one, and repeat. At the end of the row, if correctly knitted, there will be one stitch, which seam. When the colors have been repeated six times, the cover will be the proper size. To finish it round, work fringe number two, work claret for the head, and put in two lengths of each color in the fringe. End of pattern one. Pattern two, nun's pattern of exercises in knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Karen Savage. Exercises in knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern two. Nun's Pattern Pins number 10, 8 stitches to a pattern 14 shades of orange, 4 threaded German wool, beginning with the darkest and working 6 rows of each, 4 plain rows to begin and end the cover, and 4 plain stitches at the beginning and end of every row, for an edge. These edge stitches are not mentioned with the pattern, but will be included in the number cast on. Cast on 112 stitches. First row. Make 1, knit 1 make one, knit two, slip one, knit two together, pass the slip stitch over, knit two, and repeat. Second row, seamed. Third row, make one, knit three, make one, knit one, slip one, knit two together, pass the slip stitch over, knit one, and repeat. Fourth row, seamed. Fifth row, make one, knit five, make one, slip one, knit two together, pass the slip stitch over, and repeat. Sixth row, seamed. Repeat from first row. When six rows of each shade have been done, reverse them by continuing with the second lightest shade. End of pattern two. Pattern three, Viennoise pattern from exercises in knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Karen Savage. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern 3. Viennoise Pattern. Pins number 10. 9 stitches to a pattern. 8 shades of scarlet, 4 threaded German wool, 12 rows each. The shades to be arranged and reversed as number 2. Cast on 116 stitches. This includes the 8 edge stitches. First row. Make one, knit five, knit two together, pass the wool twice over the pin, knit two together, repeat. Second row, seamed. The stitches that were passed twice over the pin to be knitted only as one stitch. Third row. Knit one, make one, knit four, knit two together, pass the wool twice over the pin, knit two together, repeat. Fourth row, seamed as before. Fifth row. Knit two, make one, knit three, knit two together, pass the wool twice over the pin, knit two together, repeat. Sixth row, seamed as before. Seventh row. 
knit three, make one, knit two, knit two together, pass the wool twice over the pin, knit two together, and repeat. Eighth row seamed. Ninth row. Knit four, make one, knit one, knit two together, pass the wool twice over the pin, knit two together, and repeat. Tenth row, seamed. Eleventh row. Knit five, make one, knit two together, pass the wool twice over the pin, knit two together, and repeat. Twelfth row, seamed, then repeat from the first row. End of pattern number three. Pattern number four from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush in Marquette, Michigan, December 2008. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number four. Chair cover. Beautiful coral pattern. Pins number twelve. Sixteen shades of scarlet, four threaded German wool, and six rows of each shade, to be worked in the same order as number two for the cover. Cast on 116 stitches. If wished for any other purpose, cast on any number of stitches that will divide by 17 and 14 stitches over, to make the pattern correspond at the edges. First row. Knit four, knit two together. Star. Thread forward, knit two together, thread forward, knit two together, thread forward, knit one, thread forward, knit two, slip one, knit one, pass the slipped stitch over, knit four, knit two together, knit two, and repeat from star, till within eight of the end. Then, thread forward, knit two together, thread forward, knit two together, thread forward, knit four. Second row, seamed. Third row, knit three, knit two together, star. Thread forward, knit two together, thread forward, knit two together, thread forward, knit three, thread forward, knit two, slip one, knit one, Pass the slipped one over. Knit two, knit two together. Knit two, and repeat from star. For the end, thread forward, knit two together. Thread forward, knit two together. Thread forward, knit five. Fourth row, seamed. Fifth row, knit two, knit two together. Star. Thread forward, Knit two together, thread forward, knit two together, thread forward, knit five, thread forward, knit two, slip one, knit one, pass the slipped stitch over, knit two together, knit two, and repeat from star. For the end, thread forward, knit two together, thread forward, knit two together, thread forward, knit six. Sixth row, seamed. Seventh row, knit four, star. Thread forward, slip one, knit one. Pass the slipped stitch over. Thread forward, slip one, knit one. Pass the slipped stitch over. Thread forward, knit two, slip one, knit one. Pass the slipped stitch over. Knit four. Knit two together, knit two, thread forward, knit one, and repeat from star. For the end, thread forward, slip one, knit one, pass the slipped stitch over, thread forward, slip one, knit one, pass the slipped stitch over, thread forward, slip one, knit one, pass the slipped stitch over, knit four. Eighth row, Seamed. Ninth row. Knit five. Star. Thread forward. Knit two together. Thread forward. Knit two together. Thread forward. Knit two. Slip one. Knit one. Pass the slipped stitch over. Knit two. Knit two together. Knit two. Thread forward. 
knit three, and repeat from star. For the end, thread forward, knit two together, thread forward, knit two together, thread forward, knit two together, knit three. Tenth row, seamed. Eleventh row, knit six, star. Thread forward, slip one, knit one, pass the slipped stitch over, thread forward, slip one, knit one, pass the slipped stitch over, thread forward, knit two, slip one, knit one, pass the slipped stitch over, knit two together, knit two, thread forward, knit five, and repeat from star. For the end, thread forward, slip one, knit one, pass the slipped stitch over, thread forward, slip one, knit one, pass the slipped stitch over, thread forward, slip one, knit one, pass the slipped stitch over, knit two. Twelfth row, seamed. Repeat from first row. End of pattern four. Pattern 5. Beautiful Diamond Pattern from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Karen Savage. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern 5. Beautiful Diamond Pattern. Pins number 10. 24 stitches to a pattern, 6 shades of scarlet 4-threaded German wool, 12 rows of each shade, and for the centre 12 rows of white. Cast on 128 stitches. First row. Knit 2, make 1, knit 2 together, knit 3, make 1 and knit 2 together 3 times, knit 2 together, and draw the preceding stitch on the right-hand needle over the stitch formed by knitting the last 2 together, make 1 and knit 2 together twice, Make one, knit three, make one, knit two together, repeat. Second row, seamed. Third row. Knit one, knit two together, make one, knit three. Knit two together and make one three times. Knit one, make one and knit two together twice. Make one, knit three, knit two together, make one, knit one. Fourth row, seamed. Fifth row. Knit two, make one, knit two together, knit one. Knit two together and make one three times. Knit three. Make one and knit two together three times. Knit two. Make one. Knit two together. Repeat. Sixth row. Seamed. Seventh row. Knit one. Knit two together. Make one. Knit one. Knit two together and make one three times. Knit five. Make one and knit two together three times. Knit two together. Make one. Knit one. And repeat. Eighth row. Seamed. Ninth row. Knit two, make one, knit two together, knit one, make one and knit two together three times, knit one, make one, knit two together, knit two, make one and knit two together four times. Tenth row, seamed. Eleventh row. Knit one, knit two together, make one, knit three, make one and knit two together three times, knit two, knit two together and make one three times, knit one, knit two together, make one, Knit one. Twelfth row, seamed. End of pattern number five. Pattern six. Pretty feather pattern from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Karen Savage. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern 6. Pretty Feather Pattern. Pins number 11. 25 stitches to a pattern. 6 shades each of scarlet, drab, and blue. Cast on 108 stitches. Commence with the darkest blue, and knit 4 plain rows. First row. Knit 2 together 4 times. Bring the wool forward and knit 1 8 times. Knit 2 together 4 times. Knit 1 and repeat. Second row. Seamed. Third row. Knit. Fourth row. Seamed. The shade is changed after the completion of these four rows. The six shades of blue are knit from dark to light, then the six shades of scarlet, and then the shades of drab. Each set of shades is knit twice, and you will finish with the lightest drab. 
knit four plain rows of that colour besides the four pattern rows. End of pattern six. Pattern number seven from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush in Marquette, Michigan, December 2008. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number seven. Chair cover. Rose leaf pattern. Pins number 10, 19 stitches to a pattern, 15 shades of blue, 4 thread German wool, and 6 rows of each color. Cast on 122 stitches. First row, knit 1, seam 2, knit 1, make 1, knit 1, slip 1, knit 1, pass the slipped stitch over, Seam 1, knit 2 together, knit 1, seam 1, knit 1, slip 1, knit 1, pass the slipped stitch over, seam 1, knit 2 together, knit 1, make 1, and repeat. Second row, seam 3, knit 1, seam 2, knit 1, Seam 2, knit 1, seam 4, knit 2, seam 1, repeat. Third row, knit 1, seam 2, knit 1, make 1, knit 1, make 1, slip 1, knit 1, pass the slipped stitch over, seam 1, knit 2 together, Seam 1, slip 1, knit 1, pass the slipped stitch over, seam 1, knit 2 together, make 1, knit 1, make 1, and repeat. Fourth row, seam 4, knit 1, seam 1, knit 1, seam 1, knit 1, seam 5, knit 2, Seam 1, and repeat. Fifth row, knit 1, seam 2, knit 1, make 1, knit 3, make 1, slip 1, knit 2 together, pass the slipped stitch over, seam 1, slip 1, knit 2 together, pass the slipped stitch over, make 1, Knit 3, make 1. Sixth row, seam 6, knit 1, seam 7, knit 2, seam 1, and repeat. Seventh row, knit 1, seam 2, knit 1, make 1, knit 5, make 1, slip 1, knit 2 together, Pass the slipped stitch over, make 1, knit 5, make 1, and repeat. Eighth row, seam 16, knit 2, seam 1, and repeat. Begin again from the first row. End of pattern 7. Pattern number eight from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush in Marquette, Michigan, December 2008. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number eight. Chair cover. Pretty spider net pattern with open work between. Pins number 12, 35 stitches to a pattern, 14 shades of 4-threaded scarlet German wool, 6 rows of each shade. Cast on 113 stitches. First row, knit 2, knit 2 together, make 1, knit 1, make 1, knit 2 together, make 1, 
knit two together, knit nine, open parentheses, make one, and knit two together six times, close parentheses, knit five, repeat. Second row, seam four, open parentheses, seam two together and make one six times, close parentheses, seam nine, open parentheses, seam two together and make one twice, close parentheses, seam three, make one, seam two together, seam one, and repeat. Third row, knit two together, make one, knit two together, knit one, knit two together, open parentheses, make one, and knit two together twice, close parentheses, knit nine, open parentheses, make one, and knit two together six times, close parentheses, knit three, and repeat. Fourth row, seam two, open parentheses, seam two together and make one six times, close parentheses, seam nine, open parentheses, seam two together and make one twice, close parentheses, seam one, make one, seam three, make one, seam two, and repeat. Fifth row, knit three, make one, slip one, knit two together, pass the slipped stitch over, make one, knit three, open parentheses, make one, and knit two together twice, close parentheses, knit nine, open parentheses, make one, and knit two together six times, close parentheses, knit one, repeat. Sixth row, seam three, open parentheses, make one, and seam two together six times, close parentheses, seam six, seam two together, make one, seam one, make one, seam two together, make one, seam two together, seam seven, repeat. Seventh row, knit six, knit two together, make one, knit two together, make one, knit three, make one, knit two together, knit four, open parentheses, knit two together and make one six times, close parentheses, knit four, repeat. Eighth row, seam five, open parentheses, make one and seam two together six times, close parentheses, seam two, seam two together, make one, seam two together, seam one, seam two together, make one, seam two together, make one, seam two together, seam five, repeat. Ninth row, knit four, knit two together, make one, knit two together, make one, knit one, make one, knit three, make one, knit three, open parentheses, knit two together and make one six times, close parentheses, knit six, repeat. Tenth row, seam seven, open parentheses, make one and seam two together six times, close parentheses, seam three, make one, slip one, seam two together, pass the slipped stitch over, make one, seam three, make one, seam two together, make one, seam two together, seam three, repeat. End of pattern eight. Pattern nine, shield pattern, from exercises in knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sarah Jennings. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern 9. Shield Pattern Surrounded with Open Work. Pins number 11. 15 stitches to a pattern. 10 shades of 4 threaded German wool. 
eight rows of each shade, the shades to be reversed from the center, the same as number two. Cast on 113 stitches. First row. Knit two together, knit three, make one, knit two together, make one, knit one, make one, knit two together, make one, knit three, knit two together. Second row. Seamed. Third row. Knit two together, knit three, make one, knit two together, make one, knit one, make one, knit two together, make one, knit three, knit two together. Fourth row. Seamed. Fifth row. Knit two together, knit two, make one, knit two together, make one, knit three, make one, knit two together, make one, knit two, knit two together. Sixth row. Seamed. Seventh row. Knit two together, knit one, make one, knit two together, make one, knit five, make one, knit two together, make one, knit one, knit two together. Eighth row. Seamed. Ninth row. Knit two together, make one, knit two together, make one, knit seven, make one, knit two together, make one, knit two together. Tenth row. Seamed. Eleventh row. Knit one, make one, knit two together, make one, knit three, knit two together, knit four, make one, knit two together, make one, knit one. Twelfth row. Seamed. Thirteenth row. Knit one, make one, knit two together, make one, knit three, knit two together, knit two together at the back, knit three, make one, knit two together, make one, knit one. Fourteenth row. Seamed. Fifteenth row. Same as the thirteenth row. Sixteenth row. Seamed. Seventeenth row. Same as the thirteenth. Eighteenth row. Seamed. Nineteenth row. Knit two. Make one. Knit two together. Make one. Knit two. Knit two together. Knit two together at the back. Knit two. Make one. Knit two together. Make one. Knit two. Twentieth row. Seamed. Twenty-first row. Knit three. Make one. Knit two together. Make one. Knit one. Knit two together. Knit two together at the back. Knit one. Make one. Knit two together. Make one. Knit three. Twenty-second row. Seamed. Twenty-third row. Knit four. Make one. Knit two together. Make one. Knit two together. Knit two together at the back. Make one. Knit two together. Make one. Knit four. Twenty-fourth row. Seamed. Twenty-fifth row. Knit two together. Knit three. Make one. Knit two together. Make one. Knit two together. Make one. Knit two together. Make one. Knit three. Knit two together. Twenty-sixth row. Seamed. Twenty-seventh row. Knit two together at the back. Knit three. Make one. Knit two together. Make one. Knit one. Make one. Knit two together. Make one. Knit three. Knit two together. Twenty-eighth row. Seamed. Repeat from first row. End of pattern nine. Pattern 10. Canvas Pattern. From Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sarah Jennings. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern 10. Canvas Pattern. Two stitches to a pattern. Three half-ounce skeins of shaded scarlet eight-threaded wool and two skeins of eight-threaded white wool, 
six rows of scarlet, and four of white. Cast on one hundred stitches. First row. Seam one. Seam the remainder of the stitches, passing the wool twice round the pin. This row is not repeated, but the knitting continued with the second and third rows till large enough. Second row. Knit half the first stitch. Knit the other half with half the second stitch, passing the wool twice round the pin. Knit the other half of the second stitch with the first half of the third stitch, passing the wool twice round the pin, and so on. Third row. Seam half the first stitch. Seam the other half with the first half of the second stitch, passing the wool twice round the pin. Seam the other half of the second stitch with the first half of the third stitch, passing the wool twice round. Repeat. Finish this round with fringe number two. Use scarlet for the head and scarlet and white for the fringe. End of pattern ten. Pattern 11 from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush in Marquette, Michigan, June 2008. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 11. Chair cover 11 leaf pattern. Pins number 10, cast on 116, 12 stitches to a pattern. First row, knit 1, make 1, knit 3, knit 2 together, knit 1, knit 2 together, knit 3, make 1, and repeat. Second row, seamed. Third row, knit 2, make 1, knit 2, Knit two together, knit one, knit two together, knit two, make one, knit one, and repeat. Fourth row, seamed. Fifth row, knit three, make one, knit one, knit two together, knit one, knit two together, knit one, make one, knit two, and repeat. Sixth row, Seamed. Seventh row. Knit four, make one, knit two together, knit one, knit two together, make one, knit three, and repeat. Eighth row. Seamed. Ninth row. Knit five, make one, slip one, knit two together, and bring the slipped stitch over. Make one, knit four, and repeat. Tenth row, seamed. Eleventh row, knit one, knit two together, knit three, make one, knit one, make one, knit three, knit two together, and repeat. Twelfth row, seamed. Thirteenth row, knit one, knit two together, knit two, make one, knit three, make one, Knit two, knit two together, and repeat. Fourteenth row, seamed. Fifteenth row, knit one, knit two together, knit one, make one, knit five, make one, knit one, knit two together, and repeat. Sixteenth row, seamed. Seventeenth row, knit one, knit two together, Make one, knit seven, make one, knit two together, and repeat. Eighteenth row, seamed. Nineteenth row, knit two together, make one, knit nine, star. Make one, slip one, knit two together, and bring the slipped stitch over. Make one, knit nine, repeat from star to end and then begin first row. Twentieth row, seamed. End of pattern 11. Pattern 12. Chair cover 12. Another leaf pattern. 
of Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Gesine. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Chair Cover 12. Another Leaf Pattern. Pins number 11, 14 stitches to each pattern. Cast on 106 stitches. First row. Seam 2, knit 1, knit 2 together, seam 4, knit 2, seam 2, bring the thread forward and knit 1, pass the thread round the needle and repeat. Second row. Seam 3, knit 2, seam 2, knit 3, knit 2 together, Seam 1, knit 2, and repeat. Third row. Seam 2, knit 1, knit 2 together. Seam 2, knit 2, seam 2, knit 1, thread forward and knit 1, thread forward and knit 1, and repeat. Fourth row. Seam 5, knit 2, seam 2, knit 1, knit 2 together. Seam 1, knit 2, and repeat. Fifth row. Seam 2, knit 1, knit 2 together, knit 2, seam 2, knit 2, thread forward, knit 1, thread forward, knit 2, and repeat. Sixth row. Seam 7, knit 2, seam 1, knit 2 together, seam 1, knit 2, and repeat. Seventh row. Seam 2, knit 1, knit 2 together, seam 2, knit 3, thread forward and knit 1, thread forward, knit 3, and repeat. Eighth row. Seam 9, knit 2, knit 2 together, knit 2, and repeat. Ninth row. Seam 2, thread forward and knit 1, thread round the needle and seam 2, knit 1, knit 2 together, seam 1, Knit 5 and repeat. Tenth row. Seam 4, knit 1, knit 2 together, seam 1, knit 2, seam 3, knit 2 and repeat. Eleventh row. Seam 2, knit 1, thread forward and knit 1, thread forward, knit 1, seam 2, knit 1, knit 2 together, seam 1, knit 3 and repeat. Twelfth row. Seam 2, knit 1, knit 2 together, seam 1, knit 2, seam 5, knit 2 and repeat. Thirteenth row. Seam 2, knit 2, thread forward and knit 1, thread forward and knit 2, seam 2, knit 1, knit 2 together, knit 2 and repeat. Fourteenth row. Seam 1, knit 2 together, seam 1, knit 2, Seam 7, knit 2, and repeat. Fifteenth row. Seam 2, knit 3, thread forward and knit 1, thread forward, knit 3, seam 2, knit 1, knit 2 together, and repeat. Sixteenth row. Knit 2 together, knit 2, seam 9, knit 2, and repeat. End of pattern 12. Pattern number 13, Narrow Van Dyke Edging, from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush in Marquette, Michigan, October 2007. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 13, Narrow Van Dyke Edging. Pins number 21 and linen thread number 9. Cast on 8 stitches. First row. Knit 4. Make 1. Knit 2 together. Make 1. Knit 2 together. Second row. Slip 1. Knit 3. Make 1. Knit 2 together. 
Pass the thread twice round the pin. Knit two together. Third row. Make one. Knit one. Knit the first half of next stitch. Seam the other half. Knit two. Make one. Knit two together. Make one. Knit two together. Fourth row. Slip one. Knit three. Make one. Knit two together. Knit four. Fifth row. Make one. Knit six. Make one. Knit two together. Make one. Knit two together. Sixth row. Slip one. Knit three. Make one. Knit two together. Pass the thread twice round the pin. Knit two together. Pass the thread twice round. Slip one. Knit one. Pass the slipped one over. Knit one. Seventh row. Knit two. Knit the first half of next stitch. Seam the other half. Knit one. Knit first half of next stitch. Seam the other half. Knit two. Make one. Knit two together. Make one. Knit two together. Eighth row. Slip one. Knit three. Make one. Knit two together. Knit seven. Cast off five stitches and repeat from first row. End of pattern number 13. Pattern number 14 from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush in Marquette, Michigan, June 2008. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 14. For a Baby's Hood. Very pretty. Done on two needles, number 10, in German wool. Cast on seven stitches for the crown. First row. Knit one stitch and bring the wool forward before each of the other six stitches. Knit a plain row. Third row. Knit two stitches, make one, knit two, make one. A plain row is knit between every increased one. Next row. Make one between every three stitches, then between every four, and so on, only increasing in the same plan, that is, six times in every other row, till you have sixteen stitches between every increased stitch. Then knit a plain row. Next row. Make one, and knit two stitches together alternately throughout the row. Cast off twelve stitches on each side of your pins. Knit two plain rows. Next row. Make one, and knit two stitches together alternately. Knit two plain rows. Next row. Make one, and knit two stitches together alternately. Knit eight plain rows. Next row. Knit twelve, make one, knit twelve, make one, and repeat. Knit a plain row and continue commencing with twelve stitches every other row, making one between every twelve stitches, so that in every other row there is an additional stitch between every increasing. Continue the plain and increasing row alternately, in the whole making thirty rows. When the hood is made up, Satin ribbon is first run between the holes, and then turned back and stuffed with wool. It is turned over to the second of the eight plain rows. Satin ribbon is run between the three rows of holes, and the increased parts down the crown, which is sewed up. The curtain, or frill, is sewed to the back part, and is knit as follows. Cast on sixty-four stitches, knit eighteen plain rows, then take up the stitches at each end, and knit a plain row. Bring the wool forward, and knit two together for the row. One plain row, 
cast off, then draw the ribbon through the holes, and sew on the frill. The crown is neatly lined with white Persian, and strings of sacronet added. A rosette of ribbon is an improvement. Pink, white, or blue wool is the best color to knit this hood in. End of Pattern 14 Pattern 15. Very pretty pattern for a fish serviette, from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Karen Savage. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern 15. Very pretty pattern for a fish serviette. Number 2 linen thread and pins number 14. Cast on 116 stitches. Two off of the edge on each side. Knit one plain row, seam one. The two stitches for the edge are not mentioned in the pattern. First row. Knit two together, knit three, knit two together, knit one and make one twice. Knit one, knit two together, knit three, knit two together, knit one and make one twice. Knit two. Second row. Seamed. Third row. Knit two together and knit one twice. Make one, knit three, make one, knit one and knit two together twice. Knit one, make one knit three, make one, knit two, and repeat. Fourth row, seamed. Fifth row, slip one, knit two together, pass the slip stitch over, knit one, make one, knit five, make one, knit one, slip one, knit two together, pass the slip stitch over, knit one, make one, knit five, make one, knit two. Sixth row, seamed. Seventh row, knit two, make one and knit one twice, Knit two together, knit three, knit two together, knit one and make one twice, knit one, knit two together, knit three, knit two together, and repeat. Eighth row, seamed. Ninth row, knit two, make one, knit three, make one, knit one and knit two together twice, knit one, make one, knit three, make one, knit one, knit two together, knit one, knit two together. Tenth row, seamed. Eleventh row. Knit two, make one, knit five, make one, knit one, slip one, knit two together, pass the slip stitch over the knit one, make one, knit five, make one, knit one, slip one, knit two together, pass the slipped stitch over, repeat. Twelfth row, seamed. Repeat these twelve rows till you have about nine or ten nails in length, then knit one plain row, seam one row, and cast off. End of pattern fifteen. Pattern 16. Two pretty fringes for chair covers, etc. From Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sarah Jennings. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern 16. Two pretty fringes for chair covers, etc. Number 1. Cast on an even number of stitches for covers. Eight will be a good number. And use double wool. Make one by passing the wool round. Seam two together. Repeat. Both rows are done in this manner. When sufficient fringe is done, cast off four stitches. Take out the other pin and unravel the remaining stitches. Number two. Cast on nine stitches. Make a stitch. Seam two together. Make a stitch, seam two together, make a stitch, seam two together. The wool is cut in lengths of about six inches, and put in three at a time. Put in one piece of the fringe, knit two plain stitches, pass the piece of fringe between the needles, knit the last stitch. Second row. Knit the first two stitches, knit the third and the piece of fringe together, knit the rest plain. Knit the next row the same as the first. Continue with these two rows alternately till sufficient fringe is made. It may be done either in one plain color, or the knitting in one color and the fringe in another. End of pattern 16. Pattern 17. New pattern for lace edging 
from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This reading by Kara Schallenberg. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia May. Pattern 17. New Pattern for Lace Edging. Linen Thread, Number 6. Pins, Number 18. Cast on 12 stitches. First row. Slip 1. Knit 1. Pass the cotton twice round the pin. Knit 2 together. Pass the cotton twice round the pin. Knit 2 together. Pass the cotton twice round the pin. Knit 2 together. Pass the cotton twice round the pin. Knit 2 together. Pass the cotton twice round the pin. Knit 2 together. Second row. Knit two. Seam one. 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 Knit two. Third row. Slip one. Knit sixteen. Fourth row. Cast off five. Knit eleven. You will now have 12 stitches on the needle. Fifth row. Slip 1. Knit 2. Pass the cotton twice round the needle. Knit 2 together. Knit 1. Pass the cotton four times round the pin. Knit 2 together. Knit 1. Pass the cotton twice round the pin. Knit 2 together. Knit 1. Sixth row. Knit 3. Seam 1. Knit three, seam one. Knit one, seam one. Knit three, seam one. Knit three. Seventh row. Slip one. Knit sixteen. Eighth row. Cast off five. Knit eleven. You have now twelve stitches on the pin, and must begin with the first row again. End of pattern seventeen. Read on October 19, 2007, in Oceanside, California. Pattern number 18, Sugar Plum Stitch, from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush, in Marquette, Michigan, October 2007. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 18, Sugar Plum Stitch. Very pretty for baby's quilts, done in shaded wool and large pins. Cast on an uneven number of stitches. First row. Knit one stitch, bring wool forward. Slip one the reverse way. Pass the wool back and repeat. Second row. Seam the stitch that was slipped in the last row. Pass the wool back. Slip one the reverse way. Bring the wool forward and repeat. Continue these two rows till the knitting is large enough. End of pattern 18. Pattern 19. Leaf Pattern for Half Square Shawl From Exercises in Knitting This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recorded by Aaron Hastings Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee Pattern 19. Leaf Pattern for Half Square Shawl Twelve stitches to a pattern, pins number ten. This may either be done in Shetland or German wool, and is very pretty in black Shetland wool. Cast on three stitches, increase at the beginning of each row till you have twelve. First pattern row. Make one, knit two together, knit three, make one, knit one, make one, knit three, knit two together, knit one, make one. Second row. Seamed, 
making a stitch at the beginning. Third row. Make one, knit one, knit two together, knit two, make one, knit three, make one, knit two, knit two together, knit two. Fourth row. Seamed, making one at the beginning. Fifth row. Make one, knit two, knit two together, knit one, make one, knit five, make one, knit one, knit two together, knit three. Sixth row. Seamed, making one at the beginning. Seventh row. Make one, knit three, knit two together, make one, knit seven, make one, knit two together, knit four. Eighth row. Seamed, making one at the beginning. Ninth row. Make one, knit five, make one, knit three, knit two together, knit four, make one, and knit the remainder. Tenth row. Seamed, making one at the beginning. Eleventh row. Make one, knit two together, knit three, make one, knit one, make one, knit three, parentheses, knit two together twice, end parentheses, knit three, make one, knit one, make one, knit three, knit two together, knit remainder. Twelfth row. Seamed. Make one at the beginning. Thirteenth row. Make one, knit one, knit two together, knit two, make one, knit three, make one, knit two, parentheses, knit two together twice, end parentheses, knit two, make one, knit three, make one, knit two, knit two together, knit the remainder. Fourteenth row. Seamed, make one at the beginning. Fifteenth row. Make one, knit two, knit two together, knit one, make one, knit five, make one, knit one, knit two together. Asterisk. Knit two together, knit one, make one, knit five, make one, knit one, knit two together, and repeat from asterisk. Knit those left at the end. Sixteenth row. Seamed. Make one at the beginning. Seventeenth row. Make one. Knit three. Knit two together. Make one. Knit seven. Make one. Knit two together. Asterisk. Knit two together. Make one. Knit seven. Make one. Knit two together and repeat from asterisk. Knit those left at the end. Eighteenth row. Seamed. Make one at the beginning. Nineteenth row. Make one. Knit five. Make one. Knit three. Knit two together. Knit four. Make one. Knit two together. Make one. Knit three. Knit two together. Knit four. Make one. Knit the rest. Twentieth row. Seamed. Make one at the beginning. Twenty-first row, same as eleventh. The shawl can be made any size by repeating these ten rows till you have it as large as you wish. End of pattern 19. Recording by Erin Hastings, June 23, 2008. Pattern number 20 of Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush in Marquette, Michigan, May 2008. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 20, Baby's Shoe and Stocking. Set on 80 stitches and knit the top as the Swiss mittens. When deep enough, diminish your stitches to 60. Knit two seamed rows in color, then two plain white, 
and six rows of bars, formed by knitting two plain and two seamed stitches alternately for three rows, and then two plain rounds, then reverse the ribbing and so on, with two plain rounds between. Divide the back and front, on the two back pins thirty-two stitches, twenty-eight on the front, on the back pins knit two more plain rows, on the front continue the bars six more rows, and at the end knit four plain rows. This finishes the stocking part. For the shoe, set on thirty-two stitches of colored wool on a separate pin, one plain row and one row of holes for ribbon to go through, one plain row, and then join it at the back part of the stocking. Knit two seamed rows, two plain, three rows of bars, and two seamed rows. Divide for the heel, twelve stitches on the middle pin, and ten on each side, which you bind down. Continue three plain rows on the middle part, where there are twelve stitches, and three rows of bars. No plain rows at the end. Take up each side of the heel ten stitches, and seam three rows. For the foot part, knit two plain rows, and eight rows of bars, before knitting the plain rows to these eight rows of bars. Set on twenty-eight stitches of colored wool on a separate pin, and after knitting two seamed rows, join it to the front part of the stocking. Then knit two plain rounds all round to join the whole. But in the back part, reduce four stitches to make it equal with the twenty-eight in front. Commence the pattern of bars on the back pin, and make the first stitch a plain one. At the end of that pin, and on the front one, seam three stitches to form the side of the shoe, with two plain rows as before, narrowing at the end and beginning of the pins. At the beginning of the pins, narrow the first stitch, and at the end, before the three seamed stitches, and only narrow in the plain rows. When you have narrowed to have ten on the front and back pins, twenty in all, knit four plain rows, and finish by turning it and binding down. The front part of the shoe should have four rows of bars. Join the sides of the shoe and stocking, and knit four seamed rows. Draw a ribbon through the back part where you made the holes. End of pattern number 20 Pattern number 21 from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Vicki Selleck in Maplewood, New Jersey, USA. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 21. Shell Pattern for a Baby's Cap. Pins number 22 and the finest linen thread. The front part is knit with two needles only. Cast on 208 stitches. Knit five rows plain for the beginning. After these five, you must diminish one stitch in every shell so as to have only 192. Then three rows of the pattern or shells two rolls of holes for putting narrow ribbon in before doing the pattern again, which is done in this manner. Bring your thread forward, knit two stitches together, and so on to the end of your needle. Knit five rows of plain between these two rows of holes. When this is concluded, knit four rows of the shells and then two rows of the holes the same as before with the five plain rows between then again two rows of the pattern or shells. You now take your two other needles and increase 43 stitches for the back of the head, two rows plain, one row for putting ribbon in, and three rows plain. Then knit eight rows of the shells. The seventh row you must have seven holes in each shell, and the eighth but six. After this, seam the first and second stitches, Knit the third plane without taking it off, and twist it so as to make two stitches of this last one. Then seam the fifth, slip the sixth without knitting, knit the seventh plane, and pass the sixth over. Knit the eighth plane, slip the ninth, 
and the tenth knit plain and pass the ninth over it. The next row, seam the first stitch, slip the second, knit the third, and pass the second over without taking it off and knit it twisted. Twist the fourth, seam the fifth, and knit the three remaining plain. After this row, knit two rows plain all around. After these, make a row of holes for putting ribbon in by taking two stitches together and making one as before. First three rows plain all round, another row of holes, and then three rows plain. Then do the pattern eight shells round the cap and so continue until you have but five stitches instead of nine, not including the two twisted and the seamed. After this row, seam the first, twist the second and third, seam the fourth, raise a stitch by picking up a loop, slip the fifth, knit the sixth, and pass the fifth over. Knit the seventh plain and take the eighth and ninth together. Raise one stitch before beginning to seam. The next row, seam the first, slip the second, knit the third plain, and pass the second half through and knit it plain. Seam the fourth, knit the fifth plain, slip the sixth without knitting, knit the seventh, and pass over the sixth to the left and the eighth to the right. Knit the ninth plain. Then do two rows of plain knitting all round, two rows of the holes for ribbon, knitting two rows plain to divide them, and four plain rows to finish with. Take off your stitches on a needle with coarse thread and tie it up. The pattern stitch. First row. Seam the first stitch, twist the second and third, seam the fourth, knit the fifth plain, bring your thread forward, and so continue for nine stitches plain, counting the fifth for one. By putting your thread forward, you will have 17 stitches. Second row. Seam the first stitch, twist the second and third, seam the fourth, and knit the seventeen plain when with four needles, and seam them when with two. Third row. Seam the first, twist the second and third, seam the fourth, slip the fifth, knit the sixth plain, and pass over the fifth. Knit fifteen stitches plain, including the sixth, and take two together at the fifteenth. Fourth row. The same as the third, with the exception of the number, which is 13 this time, diminishing at the first and thirteenth as before. Fifth row. The same as the fourth row, only 11 stitches instead of 13. Sixth row. The same as the fifth, only 9 stitches instead of 11. After the six rows, you begin at the first again, the six rows comprising all the pattern. End of pattern 21. Pattern 22 for a knitted bodice from exercises in knitting this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org recording by lizzie driver exercises in knitting by cornelia me pattern 22 for a knitted bodice Five ounces of four thread fleecy and number ten pins. Cast on sixty stitches and knit three plain rows. Fourth row, make a stitch, knit two together, make a stitch, knit two together, and so on to the end of the row. Knit four plain rows. Knit seventy rows in double knitting. Knit the four first and last stitches of every row plain. Then let off all the stitches onto a piece of thread, except twenty-five on the right-hand side. Asterix. Knit these twenty-five stitches backwards and forwards, remembering that the four plain stitches are still to be knit on the right-hand side, but not on the other, for twenty-six rows. Then cast on fifteen additional stitches. The four plain stitches are now to be knit on both sides for seventy-four rows. Knit three plain rows. Next row. Make a stitch, knit two together, make a stitch, knit two together, and so on. Knit three plain rows, and cast off. 
This completes the back and one front. You then let off 25 stitches on the other side, and repeat from the point marked above with an asterisk, at time 1 minute and 3 seconds. Then take up the stitches all round to the neck and knit 3 plain rows. Next row. Make a stitch and knit 2 together alternatively. Knit 4 plain rows and cast off. Then sew the two fronts to the back, about one third of the length up, and run a ribbon through the row of holes formed at the top and bottom. This is worn outside the dress, and under a shawl or cloak is very comfortable. All should be done in double knitting but the four edge stitches. End of pattern 22 Pattern 23 Pretty Open Pattern From Exercises in Knitting This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org Recording by Gesine Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee Pattern 23 Pretty open pattern. Nine stitches to a pattern. For the centre of a shawl I have done it in white, with a deep shaded border in feather stitch, in German wool, and the effect is extremely good. First row. Seam two, make one, knit two together, knit three, knit two together, make one, and repeat. Second row. Seam 7 and knit 2 alternately. Third row. Seam 2, knit 1, make 1. Knit 2 together, knit 1, knit 2 together, make 1, knit 1, and repeat. Fourth row. Seam 7 and knit 2 alternately. Fifth row. Seam 2, knit 2, make 1, slip 1, knit 2 together, Pass the slipped stitch over, make one, knit two, and repeat. Sixth row, knit two and seam seven alternately. End of pattern twenty three. Pattern number twenty four Shell knitting for a bag in German wool from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush, in Marquette, Michigan, October 2008. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 24. Shell knitting for a bag in German wool. Pins number 14. Take 11 shades of wool, begin with the darkest, and four rows of each shade, that is, one pattern done of each. Cast on 155 stitches, 57 on two of the needles, and 38 on the third. First round. Knit four stitches plain, bring the wool forward, knit one, bring the wool forward, knit one, repeat this eight times. Knit four plain, seam three, repeat this all round. Second round. Knit two plain, two together, fifteen plain, slip one, knit one, draw the slipped one over the knitted one, knit three plain, seam four, repeat this all round. Third round. Knit two plain, two together, fourteen plain, slip one, and pull one over as before, knit two plain, seam three. Fourth round. Knit one plain, two together, fourteen plain, slip and pull over as before, knit one, seam three. Fifth round. Knit two together, fourteen plain, slip and pull over, seam three. The stitches will now be reduced to their original number. Tie on the next shade and repeat the five rows as before. Repeat this fifteen times. Then take very small needles and knit a binder in simple ribs in any of the shades, 15 rows deep. 
The handle is made by knitting on two needles of the same size as those used for the bag, with double wool in the following manner. Cast on 14 stitches, slip 1, bring the wool forward, slip 1, knit 1, pull the slipped one over the knitted one to the last two, which are both knitted. Without bringing the wool forward, fold the two edges into the middle, and sew together with the double wool. Silk tassels to match. End of pattern 24, shell knitting for a bag in German wool. Pattern number 25, pretty pattern for basket serviettes. From Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Gesine. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern 25. Pretty Pattern for Basket Serviettes. Six stitches to a pattern. Cast on seventy six stitches. Knit two plain at each edge. First row. Make one, knit one, make one, knit two together, knit one, knit two together. Second row. Seamed. Third row. Make one, knit three, make one, knit three together. Fourth row. Seamed. Fifth row. Knit two together. Knit one. Knit two together. Make one. Knit one. Make one. Sixth row. Seamed. Seventh row. Knit three together. Make one. Knit three. Make one. Eighth row. Seamed. Repeat from first row. The plain rows between may be knit instead of seamed if wished. End of pattern 25 Pattern number 26, Oriental Mat or Hookah Carpet, from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Anne Cheng. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 26. Oriental Mat or Hookah Carpet. This may also be used as a carriage rug, or is very pretty as a mat for the front of the piano. It is composed of an open stripe of dark knitting and a stripe of white knitting, with a pattern worked in cross stitch on it, and is quite new. Large wooden pins are required, and twelve threaded fleecy, dark claret for the open stripe, and white with four shades of gold, green, lilac and scarlet form a good combination of colours for the closed stripe and are extremely rich in their effect. For the open stripe, cast on 18 stitches. First row. Knit two stitches, bring the wool forward, pass the first of the two knit stitches over. Knit two, bring the wool forward, pass the first of the two knit stitches over. Repeat. Second row. Seamed. Repeat these two rows alternately till you have done the length you wish your mat to be. For the closed stripe, cast on 20 stitches and knit the same length as the open stripe. When finished, pin it onto a weighted cushion to work the pattern on it, as that stretches the knitting and shows more plainly where you should put your needle in. Then work the annexed pattern on it. First pattern in shades of gold. Second, shades of green. Third, shades of scarlet. Fourth, shades of lilac. Repeat with the gold. Four stripes of the white and three of the dark will make a nice size mat for a drawing room. If for a carriage rug, an additional stripe of each. End of pattern number 26. Pattern 27. Very elegant knitted pelisse. From Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee, Pattern 27, Very Elegant Knitted Pelisse.
this may be made either smaller or larger by using finer or coarser woolen pins. It is usually done in four-thread fleecy with coloured centre and border to imitate her mean. Cast on 270 stitches with white, bring the wool forward, slip a stitch the reversed way, knit two together and repeat. Every row is alike. Knit 24 rows with the white, then slip off 24 stitches at the beginning of the next row, and join the coloured wool. Leave 24 stitches at the other end. These stitches are not required again till the centre is done, and are then knitted in white to form the border up the sides. This will leave 222. Knit with these with the coloured wool for 12 rows. Next row. Knit 27, bring the wool forward, slip one, and instead of knitting only two together, knit five together. This decreases one rib. Knit to within thirty stitches of the end, decrease one rib as before, knit thirteen rows, and decrease one rib at the beginning and end of the next row as before. Each decreasing is done at the beginning of the row after knitting twenty-seven stitches, and when within thirty of the end. Knit eleven rows, and decrease one rib at each end of the next row. Knit thirteen rows, and decrease one rib at each end. Knit thirteen rows. Next row. Knit twenty-seven stitches, decrease one rib. Knit six stitches, decrease one rib. Knit six stitches, decrease again. Knit and repeat, decreasing after every six stitches, till fourteen ribs are decreased. Knit the thirty last stitches without decreasing. Knit 24 rows without decreasing. Next row. Knit 27 stitches onto another needle and knit them backwards and forwards for 42 rows. Then cast off 3 stitches at the end nearest the centre, knit 2 rows, cast off 3 more stitches, knit 2 rows and cast off 3 more stitches, till only 9 stitches are left. Then cast off the 9 stitches. This completes one front except the white, which will be mentioned below. The twenty-seven last stitches are knitted in the same manner for the other front, then the stitches that remain for the back are knitted for forty-two rows, then cast off three stitches at each end, knit two rows, and cast off three at each end, till you have cast off eighteen at each end, knit two plain rows, and cast off the remainder of the stitches, then sew the shoulders very loosely, or it will contract them. The twenty-four stitches of white that were let off to another pin must be knit on each side the length of the front, and neatly sewed to it. For the sleeves, cast on sixty-six stitches and knit seventy-eight rows. This is for the coloured part, and in sewing it together at the elbow it must be rather tightened, and for the cuff, which is done in white, cast on eighteen stitches and knit sixty-six rows, and sew it very nicely to the coloured part. For the collar, cast on a hundred and twenty stitches with white, knit eight rows. Next row, Knit to within twelve stitches of the end, turn back and knit to within twelve of the other end. Next row, leave six more stitches at each end. Next row, leave twenty-four stitches at each end, then thirty-three, thirty-nine, forty-five, and forty-eight stitches, turning back between each as before. Knit to the end of the row with white, join the coloured wool, knit eight rows. Next row, leave twelve stitches at the end. Turn back and leave the same number at the other end. Next row leave 18, then 24, 30, 36 and 42 at each end, then two rows of coloured, knitting the whole number of stitches, then cast off and sew it to the neck. A cord of tassels for the neck and waist, made of the white and coloured wool, to be added, and little tufts of black wool sewed into the white border at equal distances, completes this elegant palace. End of Pattern 27。Pattern number 28。Half cap for wearing under a bonnet。From Exercises in Knitting。This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, Please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush in Marquette, Michigan, October 2007. 
Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern 28. Half Cap for Wearing Under a Bonnet. Pins number 14. Cast on 119 stitches. Knit two plain rows with the colored wool. Join the white. And knit two plain rows. Next row. Make a stitch. Seam two stitches together. Make a stitch. Seam two together. And so on. Knit another plain row of white. Knit two plain rows of colored. Then join the white. That finishes the border round the top of the cap. First row. Knit four plain stitches. Make a stitch. Knit three stitches together. Make a stitch. Knit four plain stitches. Make a stitch. Knit three stitches together. Make a stitch. Knit four plain stitches. And so on to the end of the row. Second row. Seamed. Third row. Knit the same as the first, and continue with these two rows alternately for ten rows. Then slip off twenty-eight stitches onto another needle. Then knit the remaining stitches backwards and forwards for sixteen rows, increasing one stitch at the beginning of each of the last eight rows. Join the colored wool and knit two plain rows, then two rows of white. Next row. Make a stitch. Seam two together. Make a stitch. Seam two together. And so on. Knit one plain row of white. Then take up the twenty-eight stitches at the back and the stitches on each side. Knit two plain rows of colored all round and cast off the stitches. Then run a ribbon of the same color as the wool through the holes of the border around the back and front of the cap. End of Pattern 28 Pattern 29 For a Muff From Exercises in Knitting This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sharon Lee Baker. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern 29. For a Muff. Cast on 80 stitches with the lightest shade, and knit 3 plain rows. In the fourth row, pass the wool round the pin, Seam two stitches together, pass the wool round the pin, seam two together, and so on to the end of the row. Join the next lightest shade and knit three plain rows. In the fourth row, seam two stitches together, pass the wool round the pin, seam two stitches together, and so on to the end of the row. Continue in this manner knitting three plain rows and an open row of each shade till the darkest, then again to the lightest. This forms one stripe, four of which are required. The last stripe should finish with the lightest shade to correspond with the beginning. The shading of each stripe must be reversed. Thus first begin with the lightest shade and knit to the darkest, then knit from the darkest to the lightest and then again to the darkest, and so on. This should be done in double German wool, in five shades of sable or chinchilla colors, and satin put underneath the knitting of the same color. End of Pattern 29 Recording by Sharon Lee Baker Pattern 30 a Swiss pattern for the top of a mitten or muffetee from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, 
or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Alex Whitaker. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern 30. A Swiss pattern for the top of a mitten or muffetee. Cast on 26 stitches on 3 needles. Begin by seaming the first stitch. Knit the second and slip it onto the left hand needle. Bring the one from behind over which decreases the stitch. Knit the three next stitches plain. Pass the thread in front of each of the two next stitches and knit them which increases and makes the holes. Then knit three more plain and decrease again as above. Then seam a stitch and so on all round. After each round done in this way, knit a plain round. End of pattern 30. Recording by Alex Whitaker in London. Pattern 31. Beautiful pattern for a Shetland shawl. From Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Jennifer Stearns. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern 31. Beautiful pattern for a Shetland shawl. The center is done with fine white Shetland wool and large ivory or wood pins. Cast on for the center 180 or 190 stitches. The pattern does for any number that will divide by 10. First row. Knit one, make one. Slip one, knit one. Pass the slip stitch over. Make one, slip one. Knit one, pass the slip stitch over, make one, slip one, knit one, pass the slip stitch over the knitted one, knit three, and repeat. Second row, seamed. Third row, knit two, parenthesis, make one, slip one, knit one, and pass the slip stitch over three times, parenthesis, knit two. Fourth row, seamed. Fifth row, knit three, parenthesis, make one, slip one, knit one, and pass the slip stitch over three times, parenthesis, knit one. Sixth row, seamed. Seventh row, knit four, parenthesis, make one, slip one, knit one, pass the slip stitch over three times, parenthesis. Eighth row, seamed. Ninth row, Knit two, parenthesis, knit two together, and make one three times, parenthesis, knit two. Tenth row, seamed. Eleventh row, knit one, parenthesis, knit two together, and make one three times, parenthesis, knit three. End of pattern thirty one. Recording by Jennifer Stearns, Concord, New Hampshire. Pattern number 32 for a comforter from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 32 for a comforter. Number 11 pins. Four thread fleecy geranium and gray. Cast on 48 stitches. Knit 20 rows in double knitting of geranium, then 12 rows of the gray, 12 of the geranium, 12 of the gray, and so on till the end. Then knit 20 rows, as at the first, with the geranium, and finish with the following fringe. Cast on 8 stitches. Make a stitch by keeping the wool at the back. Seam 2 stitches together. Pass the wool round the pin. Seam 2 together. Pass the wool round. Seam 2 together. Continue in this manner, remembering to make a stitch at the beginning of each row till sufficient fringe is done. Then cast off four stitches, pull the other needle out, and ravel the depth of the four stitches out, and sew on the fringe at each end. End of pattern number 32.
Pattern number 33 for another comforter from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 33 for another comforter. Pins number 10. This is done in bright scarlet and claret, six rows of each. Eight threaded German wool, cast on 39 stitches. First row. Seam one, make one, slip one. This row is not repeated, but the remainder of the comforter is done as the second row. Seam two together, make one, slip one. Repeat when two yards in length are done. Cast off and add fringe number one at each end, or a tassel of the colors of the wool if preferred. End of pattern number 33. Pattern 34. Raised Knitting. A kind of bell pattern for a counterpane from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sarah Jennings. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern 34. Raised Knitting. A kind of bell pattern for a counterpane. Cast on any number that will divide by four, and four stitches for each edge. The four stitches at each edge are not mentioned in the pattern. First row. Seam four stitches. Cast on six stitches. Seam four. Cast on six stitches. And repeat. Second row. Seam seven. Knit three. And repeat. Third row. Seam eight. Knit two together, taking the back of the stitches. Knit three, knit two together, and repeat. Fourth row. Seam five, and knit three, alternately. Fifth row. Seam three, knit two together, taking the back of the stitches. Knit one, knit two together. Sixth row. Seam three, and knit three, alternately. 7th row. Seam 3. Knit 2 together, taking the back of the stitches. Knit 1. 8th row. Seam 2 and knit 3, alternately. Ninth row. Seam 3 and knit 2 together, alternately. 10th row. Plain knitting. Repeat from the first row. This pattern is very pretty done in stripes and if wished in that way, forty-eight stitches must be cast on for each stripe, and for a narrow stripe to join it with, cast on twelve stitches. Knit and seam alternate rows for eight rows. Ninth row. Knit three, take a third pin, and knit three more. Knit the remainder of the stitches with the first pin. Tenth row. Seam three, seam the three stitches on the third pin, seam the remaining six, Repeat from first row. These two stripes form a beautiful pattern for a counterpane. End of pattern 34. Pattern number 35 from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush, February 2009. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 35. For a Knitted Pen Wiper. To be knit in three colors of German wool, number 17 pins. Cast on 20 stitches. Bring the wool forward. Slip one the reverse way. Knit two together. Bring the wool forward. Slip one the reverse way. Knit two together. Continue this to within two of the end, which knit plain. Second row. Knit two. Bring the wool forward. Slip one. Knit two together. Continue this to within three of the end, which leave on the other pin and return. Doing the same pattern to the two at the end of the row, when the wool is to be twisted twice round the pin and the two stitches knit together. Fourth row. Make a stitch, knit one, 
seam one, knit one, commence the pattern again, and continue it to within six of the end, which, as before, are to be left on the other needle. Return with the same pattern to within four of the other end, which are to be knit plain. Sixth row. Knit four, knit the pattern to within six of the end, return, as before, to within four of the edge, bring the wool twice round the needle, knit two together, repeat this. Eighth row. Knit one, seam one, knit two, seam one, knit one, knit the pattern to within nine of the end, return, as before, and knit the edge plain. Tenth row. Knit six plain, knit the pattern to within twelve of the end, return to the edge, and bring the wool twice round the pin, and knit two together. Repeat this twice more. Twelfth row. Knit one, seam one, knit two, seam one, knit two, seam one, knit one, bring the wool forward, slip one, knit two together, return and repeat this. Knit the edge plain. Cast off eight stitches, leaving two for the edge as at the commencement. Knit the pattern to the end of the row. One quarter is now finished. Commence the next, the same as before, with another color. Four quarters of each color make the round. When finished, sew the two sides together and make it up with a button in the center. End of pattern 35. Pattern 36. Beautiful pattern for a scarf. From Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sarah Jennings. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern 36. Beautiful pattern for a scarf. 5 ounces of Shetland wool, or 4 of silk, are required. This may either be worked with a deep shaded border, or all plain. Worked in the fine black Shetland wool, or ardoise silk, it has the effect of black lace. The patterns both for the border and the center may be applied for a variety of purposes, and where beauty and elegance of pattern are appreciated, they cannot fail to be admired. For the border, cast on 130 stitches. Two are kept for each edge, which are not mentioned in the pattern. They are knit and seamed every alternate row. Number 11 pins for Shetland wool and number 12 for ardoise are good sizes. Nine stitches form the pattern, so if wished wider or narrower, either add or take off nine stitches. Knit one plain row, seam, and now commence the border, which may be knit about half a yard deep. First row. Seam two, make one, knit two together, knit three, knit two together, make one, repeat. Second row, seam seven, knit two, alternately. Third row, seam two, knit one, make one, knit two together, knit one, knit two together, make one, knit one. Fourth row, seam seven, and knit two, alternately. Fifth row, Seam two, knit two, make one, slip one, knit two together, pass the slipped stitch over, make one, knit two. Sixth row, seam seven and knit two alternately. Repeat these six rows. For the center, knit one row, seam one, then commence the pattern. Only one stitch is for the edge at each side. The pattern is of 16 stitches. First row. Knit one, make one, slip one, knit two together, pass the slip stitch over, make one, knit five, make one, slip one, knit two together, pass the slip stitch over, make one, knit four, repeat. Second row. Seamed. Third row. Knit two together, make one, knit one, make one, knit two together, knit two, knit two together, make one, knit three, make one, knit two together, taking the back of the stitches, 
Knit two. Repeat. Fourth row. Seamed. Fifth row. Knit one. Make one. Slip one. Knit two together. Pass the slip stitch over. Make one. Knit two. Knit two together. Make one. Knit five. Make one. Knit two together, taking the back of the stitches. Knit one. Repeat. Sixth row. Seamed. Seventh row. Knit two together. Make one. Knit one. Make one. Knit two together twice. Make one. Knit seven. Make one. Knit two together. Repeat. Eighth row. Seamed. Ninth row. Knit one. Make one. Slip one. Knit two together. Pass the slip stitch over. Make one. Knit three. Make one. Knit two together. Knit three. Knit two together. Make one. Knit two. Repeat. Tenth row. Seamed. Eleventh row. Knit two together. Make one. Knit one. Make one. Knit two together. Knit three. Make one. Knit two together. Knit one. Knit two together. Make one. Knit three. Repeat. Twelfth row. Seamed. Repeat these twelve rows till the scarf is from one and a half to two yards long in the center, as may be desired. Knit one row. Seam one row. Then knit the border as on the other side. A pretty fringe for this scarf is three rows netted with double silk on a mesh of this width. Transcriber's note. In the source text, the dash is eight millimeters long. And one row on a mesh three inches wide, netting three stitches into each loop. End of pattern 36. Pattern number 37, Twisted Knitting, from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 37, Twisted Knitting. Cast on 12 stitches. Knit and seam alternate rows for 8 rows. The three first and last stitches of each row are always knit. Ninth row. Knit three stitches. Take a third pin and knit three more. Knit the remainder of the stitches with the first pin. Tenth row. Knit three stitches. Seam the three stitches on the third pin. Seam the other three. Knit the three edge stitches. This completes one twist and is repeated after every eight rows. End of pattern number 37. Pattern number 38, A Pretty Pattern for a Baby's Shoe, from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush in Marquette, Michigan, January 2008. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 38. A pretty pattern for a baby's shoe. Cast on 30 stitches. Knit 8 rows, increasing 1 at the beginning of each. Knit 12 rows, increasing 1 at the beginning of every other row for the toe. Knit 4 rows without increasing. You will now have 44 stitches on the needle. Let off 32 on a third needle, and knit the remaining 12 stitches backwards and forwards for 30 rows. Cast on 32 stitches. Knit 4 rows. Knit 12 rows, decreasing 1 at the beginning of every other, at the same end that you before increased. Knit 8 rows, decreasing 1 at the beginning of every row. Cast off. This completes the foot part, except the little bit that is let in to shape it better, for which take up 12 stitches along the increased part of the toe, and knit 10 rows, decreasing one at the beginning of every other one, at the end nearest the casting on. For the instep. Take up the 32 stitches on each side, and 16 across the toe. Knit two plain rows all round, and cast off. Then take up the same number all round, 
but from the bottom of these two rows, and knit two rows all round. Then place the thirty-two stitches on each side onto separate needles. With the sixteen stitches across the toe, knit two plain rows, taking up one of the thirty-two stitches at the end of each row, and knitting it together with the last stitch. Next row. Knit two, slip one, knit one, pass the slipped stitch over the knitted one, bring the thread forward, knit one, bring the thread forward, seam one, pass the thread back, slip one, knit one, pass the slipped stitch over the knitted one, bring the thread forward, knit one, bring the thread forward, seam one, pass the thread back, slip one, knit one, pass the slipped stitch over the knitted one, bring the thread forward, knit one, bring the thread forward, seam one. Next row. Knit two plain stitches at each end, and seam the remaining stitches. Continue the pattern and plain rows alternately till twenty-four rows are done, remembering to knit one of the side stitches with the last of each row. Then take the stitches on each side onto the same needle with the center ones, and knit five plain rows. Next row. Make a stitch, seam two together. Make a stitch, seam two together. This is to form a row of holes for the ribbon to pass through. Knit two plain rows. Continue the plain and pattern rows, as in the instep, till thirty-six rows are done. Knit four plain rows, and cast off. End of pattern thirty-eight. Pattern number thirty-nine, Pretty Open Diamond Border, from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee Pattern number 39 Pretty Open Diamond Border 8 stitches to a pattern, pins number 10. First row, knit 5, bring the wool forward, knit 1, wool forward, and repeat. Seam second row. Third row, knit 2 together, knit 1, knit 2 together, wool forward, knit 3, wool forward, and repeat. Seam fourth row. Fifth row. Knit three together, wool forward, knit five, wool forward, and repeat. Seam sixth row. Seventh row. Wool forward, knit two, asterisk, wool forward, knit two together, knit one, knit two together, wool forward, knit three, and repeat from asterisk. Seam eighth row. Ninth row. Wool forward, knit four, asterisk, wool forward, knit three together, wool forward, knit five, and repeat from asterisk. Begin again from third row. End of pattern number 39. Pattern number 40 of Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush, January 2009. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 40, Honeycomb Cuffs. Number 12 Pins. Cast on 68 stitches. Slip a stitch with the wool forward. Knit two together, bring the wool forward, slip one, knit two together, bring the wool forward, slip one, knit two together, bring the wool forward, slip one, knit two together. Continue in this manner with white wool till twenty-two rows are done. Join the colored wool and knit two rows. Third row. Slip the second stitch over the first and knit it. Knit the first. Slip the fourth stitch over the third and knit it. Knit the third. 
Continue in this manner till the row is completed. Knit a plain row. Repeat the open row with the plain row between each, till six open rows are done. Then repeat the twenty-two rows of the close knitting, as at first, and cast off. End of pattern number 40, Honeycomb Cuffs. Pattern number 41, Fan Pattern Knitting for a Mitten, from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush in Marquette, Michigan, October 2008. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 41. Fan Pattern Knitting for a Mitten. Needles number 19 and fine black netting silk. Set 30 stitches on each of three needles and after knitting a top either in ribs or any other pattern begin the fan by seaming the first stitch, the second stitch plain except that you take the outside part of the stitch. Seam the third, knit the fourth quite plain. Bring the thread in front of the next six stitches and knit them which makes 13 stitches. With the fourth you knit plain, then seam again, as at first, and so on for one round. Second round. Seam the three first stitches as in the beginning, and wherever you did in the first round. Knit the other thirteen stitches quite plain. Third round. Seam the three first stitches as in the first round. Slip the fourth stitch, knit the next, and bring the slipped stitch over them. Knit the others plain till you come to the two last before the seamed stitch. Then with your left hand needle take off the last knit stitch and bring the one from behind over that, which decreases two with the one you did after seaming, and so on for one round, and every other till you have reduced the thirteen stitches to seven. Then begin again the first round. It is well to count the stitches frequently that you may have them even, allowing three for the ribs and seven plain, whenever you begin the fan, so that there will be three fans on each needle. When you have four or five rounds of fans, begin the thumb by bringing the silk forward and knitting a stitch, which increases one. Then knit a plain stitch and increase the same as before. This do every other row, till you have as many as you think enough, say thirty stitches. Leave the thirty stitches and go on with the hand part, and finish that off at the top. After, knit the thumb. Observe in increasing to bring your silk directly over the stitch you increased to the right hand, and to the left knit over, and bring the silk in front of the stitch after the increased. End of pattern 41 Pattern number 42 from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush, January 2009. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 42, Corkscrew Muffetees. Five skeins of German wool are required for each. The two first and last should be alike, the middle one white. Cast on 24 stitches on each of three needles. First round, seam three stitches and knit three. Seam three and knit three. Continue this for two rounds. Then knit three rounds, knitting the two first and last on each needle plain. The intermediate ones, three plain and three seamed as before. The next three rounds, knit the first and two last stitches plain, with three seamed and three knit between them. Three rounds of three stitches plain and three seamed. Then three rounds, 
the first two and last stitches seamed, and the middle three plain, and three seamed. Then seam the first and last two stitches of the next three rounds, and begin the whole pattern again, only knitting three rounds instead of two, as at first, of three seamed and three plain. End of pattern number 42 Pattern 43, Gentlemen's Cuffs, from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Anne Cheng. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern 43, Gentlemen's Cuffs. Gentlemen's Cuffs, an excellent pattern. Shetland wool, needles number 20. Cast on 33 stitches on two needles and 36 on the third. Seam 8 rows all round. Knit 8 rows plain. Seam 8 rows. Knit 8 rows plain. Seam 8 rows. Knit 1 row plain. Rib in threes 84 rows. Knit 1 row plain. Seam 8 rows. Knit 8 rows plain. Seam 8 rows. Knit 8 rows plain, seam 8 rows, cast off. End of pattern 43. Pattern number 44 from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush, February 2009. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 44. Recipit for a Stocking. Number 10, Mee's Persian Thread, and Needles number 22 are the proper sizes. Cast on 56 stitches on the first needle and 48 on each of the other two. Knit one row plain. Second row. Knit 40 stitches plain, seam a stitch, knit all round plain. Knit 12 rows in the same way, all plain but the seam stitch. Now the pattern begins. Seam a stitch, knit 23 plain, seam a stitch, knit 15 plain. This will bring you to the center seam stitch. Seam this stitch, and knit 15 plain. This brings you to the end of the first needle. Seam a stitch, knit 23 plain, seam a stitch, knit 23 plain. This will end the second needle. Seam a stitch, knit 23 plain, seam a stitch, knit 23 plain. This ends the third needle. Seam a stitch, knit 6 plain stitches. Bring the cotton forward, knit 1, bring the cotton forward, and knit 1. Continue to bring the cotton forward and knit one till you have made 12 additional stitches. Knit 5 plain, seam a stitch, knit 15, seam a stitch, knit 15. This is the back of the stocking and must always be knit the same. 15 plain, 1 seamed, and 15 plain. Seam a stitch, knit 6 plain, bring the cotton forward, and knit one. Continue this till you have made 12 additional stitches as before. Knit 5, seam a stitch, knit 6, bring the cotton forward, and make 12 stitches as before. Knit 5, seam a stitch, knit 6, make 12 stitches as before. Knit 5, seam a stitch, knit 6, make 12 as before, and knit 5. This finishes the row and you have 60 additional stitches for the pattern. Seam a stitch and knit 35 plain. Seam a stitch and knit the back of the stocking. Seam a stitch and knit 35. Seam and knit 35. Seam and knit 35. Seam and knit 35. This ends the row. Knit two rows more same as the last. You have made stitches enough for the pattern and begin it. First row, seam a stitch, 
knit two together six times. Bring the cotton forward and knit one. Continue this till you have eleven holes made. Bring the cotton forward and slip a stitch. Knit a stitch. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Slip a stitch. Knit a stitch. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Continue to slip a stitch, knit a stitch, and pull the slipped one over it four times more, which should bring you to the seam stitch. Knit the back of the stocking, and continue this pattern round the other two needles, which will conclude the row. The next three rows are knit plain, except the seam stitches, which must be attended to. This finishes the pattern, and you begin again at the first row, and repeat the pattern forty-five times. You then begin the heel. Knit the seam stitch on the first needle plain, then knit the pattern row of the stripe. Knit the back of the stocking, and knit the first stripe off of the next needle, using the needle you have knit the stripe and the back of the stocking with, remembering that this is the pattern row. Knit the seam stitch at the end of the stripe plain. You have now two stripes and the plain back of the stocking on the heel needles, and three stripes on the front of the stocking. With the front, you have at present nothing to do. The first or pattern row of the heel is knit. The remainder of the heel is to be knit with double thread. Second row. Slip a stitch. Seam 35 stitches. Knit a plain stitch. Seam 15. Knit one plain. Seam 15. Knit one plain. Seam 36. Third row. Slip a stitch, knit 35, seam a stitch, knit 15, seam a stitch, knit 15, seam a stitch, knit 36. Fourth row, slip one, seam 35, knit one plain, seam 15, knit one plain, seam 15, knit one plain, seam 36. Begin again with the pattern row, remembering that there is one plain stitch at the beginning and end of each needle, which stitch must be slipped at the beginning of every row. Repeat this pattern nine times. At the tenth time, slip a stitch, knit seven double stitches, make eight holes, narrowing from the last hole seven times, in the same manner as usual. This will reduce the pattern six stitches. For the eleventh time, slip one, knit seven double stitches, make two holes, narrowing from the second hole in the usual manner. This will have reduced the heel fourteen stitches in each stripe, and finishes the pattern. Knit ten plain rows, knitting all the seam stitches except the middle one plain. The heel must now be closed. The narrowing must begin in the row of plain knitting, not the seamed one. Knit 26 stitches, knit 2 together, knit 11 stitches, which brings you to the seam, knit 11 stitches beyond the seam, slip a stitch, knit a stitch, pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one, turn back, slip 1 stitch, and seam 11 stitches. Knit the seam stitch plain, seam 11 stitches, seam 2 together, turn back, slip a stitch, knit to the seam stitch, and 11 stitches beyond, slip a stitch, knit a stitch, and pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Continue this narrowing till you have knit up all the stitches at each side. Take up the loops all along the side of the heel. They should be 29. Knit them with the single thread, knitting the two last on the needle together. This begins the gore. Knit the three stripes on the front needle, in the pattern as usual, only remembering that you have no seam stitch between the gore and the pattern. Take up the loops all along the second side of the heel, and take half the heel stitches on the same needle. Then slip the first stitch. Knit the second, 
pull the slipped stitch over it. Knit the remaining stitches on the needle. There should now be 41 stitches on each of the side needles. The middle of the heel ends the row. Therefore, the first needle is the one which begins from that place. Knit 15 stitches plain. Make a stitch by taking up a loop of the last row. Knit 3 stitches. Make another as before. Continue to knit 3 and make 1 till you have increased 11 stitches, which will bring you within 4 stitches of the end of the needle. Knit them plain. Knit the front needle in the second row of pattern. Knitting 35 and seaming 1, knitting 35, seaming 1, knitting 35, which ends the needle. Knit 3 stitches, make 1, knit 3 as before, till you have made 11. Knit 15 plain, which ends the row. There should now be 51 stitches on each of the side needles. You must knit to within two stitches of the end of the first needle. Knit them together. Knit the front needle in third row of pattern. Third needle. Slip a stitch. Knit a stitch. Pull the slipped stitch over it. Knit to the end of the needle plane. The next row is not to be narrowed at either place. Continue to narrow the side needles as directed every second row carrying on the pattern on the front needle, till you have reduced the stitches on each side needle, the first to 35 and the second to 36 stitches, there will now be 173 stitches all round. Continue to knit the side needles plain and the front in pattern till you have repeated the pattern from the beginning of the gore 32 times. Join on the second thread and narrow the pattern 14 stitches in each stripe in the manner directed for the heel. There will now be 136 stitches on the needles. Knit 8 plain rows. Divide the stitches exactly, leaving 68 on the front needle and 34 on each of the side needles. The first needle of the row is the same as before. Knit to within 3 stitches of the end. Slip 1 knit one, pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one, knit one plain, second needle, knit one plain stitch, knit two together, knit to within three stitches of the end, slip one, knit one, pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one, knit one plain, third needle, knit one plain, knit two together, knit one to the end. Knit one plain row all round. Continue these alternate rounds till you have reduced the stitches to 88. Then narrow every row, as directed, till there remain only 30 stitches on the front needle and 15 on each of the others. Cast off and fasten the thread. End of pattern 44. Pattern number 45 of Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush in Marquette, Michigan, May 2008. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 45 for a brioche. Either 8-thread German or 3-thread fleecy should be used. Pins number 12. Cast on 90 stitches. Keep the wool in front. Slip a stitch the reversed way. Knit two together. Pass the wool in front. Slip a stitch the reversed way. Knit two together. Pass the wool in front. Slip a stitch the reversed way. Knit two together, and so on. The whole of the knitting is done in this manner. Then knit two rows of dark for the edge, two rows of the color for the center, two more dark. These six rows form an edge, which is done on each side of each piece. Then commence the center part of the stripe, and knit two rows to the end. In the third row, leave six stitches at the end, and turn back, as if beginning a fresh row, 
and knit to the end. In the next row leave 12 stitches, then 18, 24, 30, 36, and 42. After leaving 42 stitches, you must only leave 3 more each time instead of 6, and next leave 45, 48, 51, and so on, until you have only 15 stitches left. Then knit 2 rows of dark, the whole number of stitches, 2 of the center color, 2 of the dark, and take it off like common knitting. This completes one piece, 16 of which are required, and look pretty placed. Scarlet, white, blue, gold, scarlet, white, lilac, green. This forms half the brioche, and the colors are repeated. End of pattern 45 Pattern number 46 of Exercises in Knitting This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush in Marquette, Michigan, May 2008. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee Pattern number 46 Very Pretty Van Dyke Border Pins number 19 and number 10, boar's head thread. First row. Cast on 10 stitches, slip 1, knit 1. Bring the thread forward, knit 2 together. Knit 1, bring the thread forward, knit 2 together. Pass the thread twice over the pin, knit 2 together, knit 1 plain. Second row. Slip 1, knit 1. Knit half the stitch turned twice over the needle, seam the other half. Knit two, bring the thread forward, knit two together. Knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together. Third row. Slip one, knit one. Bring the thread forward, knit two together. Knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit four plain stitches. Fourth row. Make a stitch, knit four, knit two, bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together. Fifth row, slip one, knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together, pass the thread twice round the pin, knit two together, Pass the thread twice round the pin, knit two together, knit one plain. Sixth row. Slip one, knit one. Knit the first half of the double stitch, seam the other half. Knit one, knit the first half of the double stitch, seam the other half. Knit two plain. Bring the thread forward, knit two together. Knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together. Seventh row. Slip one, knit one. Bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit one. Bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit the remainder of the stitches plain. Eighth row. Knit nine plain stitches. Bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit one. Bring the thread forward, knit two together. Ninth row. Slip one, Knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together, pass the thread twice over the needle, knit two together, repeat this three times, knit one plain stitch. Tenth row, knit two, knit first half of double stitch, seam the other half, knit one double stitch as before, knit one, Knit double stitches before, knit two, bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together. Eleventh row, slip one, knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit ten plain stitches. Twelfth row, Knit three plain stitches, knit two together, 
knit five, knit two, bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit one plain, bring the thread forward, knit two together. Thirteenth row. Slip one, knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together, pass the thread twice over the needle, and knit two together. Repeat this four times. Knit one plain. Fourteenth row. Knit two, double stitches before, knit one, double stitches before, knit one, double stitches before, knit one, double stitches before, knit two, bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together. Fifteenth row. Slip one, knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit the remaining stitches plain. Sixteenth row. Knit three, knit two together, knit three, knit two together, knit five, bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together. Seventeenth row. Slip one, knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together, pass the thread twice over the needle, and knit two together. Repeat this five times. Knit one. Eighteenth row. Knit two, double stitches before, knit one plain, double stitches before, knit one, double stitches before, knit one, double stitches before, knit one, double stitch as before, knit two, bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together. Nineteenth row. Slip one, knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit one, bring the thread forward, knit two together, knit the remainder of the stitches plain. Twentieth row. Cast off all the stitches but ten. There should be twenty-three in all. Knit five plain. Bring the thread forward. Knit two together. Knit one. Bring the thread forward. Knit two together. This completes one Van Dyke. You then begin again from the first row, and repeat these twenty rows till sufficient length is done. End of pattern 46. Pattern number 47 from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Erica Sims. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee, Pattern Number Forty Seven for Children's Gaiters. For this, two thread white fleecy is required and number eleven pins. Cast on twenty two stitches and knit eighteen plain rows, increasing at the toe every time. There will then be thirty stitches on the pin, fourteen of which must be left off at the heel onto a third pin. Then knit 24 plain rows without increasing. Cast on as many extra stitches as you before left off, and knit 18 rows, decreasing one stitch every row, until only 22 stitches are left. This completes the foot part. For the leg, take up 14 stitches on each side and 12 in the center. Knit 20 plain rows without increasing, and afterwards increase one every third row at each end until 54 rows are done. Knit 24 rows with increasing, knit 20 plain rows, decreasing one every other row, then knit 10 rows, knitting two stitches and seaming two, without increasing or decreasing. Knit 6 plain rows and cast off. End of pattern number 47. Pattern number 48 for an underspencer from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. 
Read by Betsy Bush in Marquette, Michigan, October 2008. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 48 for an underspencer. For the sleeve, cast on 40 stitches, knit 6 rows plain knitting, seam and knit in twos 20 rows. The stripes at the beginning and ends will have 3 stitches. Knit 6 rows plain knitting. 7th row, knit 3 stitches, bring the wool forward, knit 2 together, knit 4 stitches, continue making a stitch knitting 4 between to the end of the row. Knit a stitch, increase a stitch, knit to within two stitches of the end, increase a stitch by knitting two in one loop. Continue increasing a stitch in every sixth row till there are 72 stitches. Cast off 18 stitches. Knit to the end of the row, cast off 18 more. Knit two together at the beginning of every row till only 24 stitches remain. Cast off and sew up the sleeve. For the back, Begin at the waist by casting on 28 stitches. Knit 3 plain rows. Knit 3 stitches. Bring the wool forward. Knit 2 together. Knit 6. Continue making a stitch and knitting 6 between to the end of the row. Knit 6 rows. Knit 3 stitches. Increase 1 by knitting 2 in one loop. Knit 2 within 4 stitches of the end. Increase 1 as before. Knit 3. The next row knit plain. Continue to increase a stitch till within three stitches of the beginning and end of the needle, every second row, till there are 82 stitches. The next row, knit three stitches, knit two together, knit till within five of the end of the row, knit two together, knit three, knit 16 rows without increasing or decreasing. This is for the armhole. Knit three, knit two together, knit to within five of the end, knit two together, knit three. Continue to decrease every row in this manner till only 24 stitches remain. Cast off. For the fronts, begin at the waist, cast on 52 stitches, knit three rows, knit three stitches, bring the wool forward, knit two together, knit six. Continue to make a stitch and knit six between to the end of the row. Knit 12 rows, knit from the front, 11 stitches. Increase a stitch by knitting 2 and 1. Knit to the end of the row. Knit 3 rows. Knit 12 stitches. Increase 1. Knit to the end. Knit 3 rows. Knit 13 stitches. Increase 1. Knit to the end. Knit 3 rows. Knit 15 stitches. Increase 1. Knit to the end. Knit 3 rows. Knit 17 stitches. Increase 1, knit to the end, knit 3 rows, knit 18 stitches, increase 1, knit to the end, knit 3 rows, knit 19 stitches, increase 1, knit to the end, knit 3 rows, knit 20 stitches, increase 1, knit to the end. There should now be 61 stitches on the needle. Knit 8 rows without either increasing or decreasing. Knit from the front 45 stitches. Cast off 9. Take another needle. Knit the 7 which remain, knitting together the 2 first at the end of the needle, where you cast off every row till only 1 is left. Cast off. This is the beginning of the armhole. Knit 2 together at the beginning of each row at the armhole until it is reduced to 37 stitches. Knit 32 rows without increasing or diminishing. Cast off 10 stitches from the front, knit a stitch, knit two together, continue to decrease a stitch in front every row, inside the first stitch, till only 20 stitches remain. Leave off decreasing in front. Knit to within two stitches of the end next the armhole. Increase a stitch as before. Continue to do this every row till there are 27 stitches. Knit a plain row, cast off. Take up the stitches down one side of the spencer, knit three rows at one side, knit three stitches from the bottom, bring the wool forward, knit two together, knit to the end of the row, knit five rows, cast off. At the other side, knit three rows, knit three stitches from the bottom as before, bring the wool forward, knit two together, knit ten, make one stitch, 
knit ten, make one more, knit ten, make one, knit ten, make another stitch, knit to the end. For the buttonholes, knit five rows, cast off, sew the back and fronts together, take up the stitches all round the neck, knit three rows, knit four stitches, bring the wool forward, knit two together, knit six, make a stitch, continue to make a stitch, and knit six between, to the end of the row. This is for a string to pass through, as are also the holes at the waist. Knit eight rows, cast off, and sew in the sleeves. This should be knit in number three white lamb's wool yarn and number fourteen steel pins. End of pattern number forty-eight. Pattern number 49, Netted Shawl, from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush, in Marquette, Michigan, October 2008. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 49, Netted Shawl. Make a foundation of 108 stitches, and net on the narrow mesh 25 rows with white, 25 with a color for the center alternately, till you have 5 stripes of white and 4 of colored. This completes the center. For the border, on the second size mesh, net entirely with double wool throughout, and 2 stitches made in every corner stitch in the wide rows, in addition to the pattern. First row, with white, on a mesh this width, note, in the source text, this dash is 23 millimeters long, plain. Second row, take two stitches together and net them as one in the same mesh as the row before, also with white, and the two next rows. Third row, net two stitches in every loop. Fourth row, plain on the narrow mesh. Repeat these four rows till you have net all the shades, beginning with the lightest and ending with the darkest, four rows of each. For the fringe, on the wide mesh, with double wool, taking the two shades marked for the fringe. End of pattern 49. Pattern number 50 from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Vicki Selleck in Maplewood, New Jersey, USA. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 50. Another pretty pattern for a knit purse. Pins number 16. Cast on 76 stitches. Knit one plain stitch at each edge. Knit two together. Make one. Knit one. Seam one. Four skeins of silk are required, and passing three beads at a time makes it very handsome. Three bunches of number six beads. The beads are passed in every alternate row at the made stitch. Every row is the same. End of pattern number 50. Pattern number 51 for a knitted collar from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush in Marquette, Michigan, October 2007. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern 51 for a knitted collar. In fine lace thread and with fine needles. For the edging, cast on 10 stitches. First row. Slip one, knit one. Pass the cotton twice round the needle. Knit two together. Pass the cotton twice round the needle. Knit two together. 
Pass the cotton twice round the needle. Knit two together. Pass the cotton twice round the needle. Knit two plain. Second row. Knit three. Seam one. Knit two. Seam one. Knit two. Seam one. Knit two. Seam one. Knit two. Third row. Slip one. Knit fourteen. Fourth row. Cast off five. Knit nine. This leaves ten stitches on the needle. Fifth row. Slip one. Knit one. Pass the cotton four times round the needle. Knit two together. Knit one. Pass the cotton twice round the needle. Knit two together. Pass the cotton twice round the needle. Knit two together. Knit one. Sixth row. Knit three. Seam one. Knit two. Seam one. Knit three. Seam one. Knit one. Seam one. Knit two. Seventh row. Slip one. Knit fourteen. Eighth row. Cast off five. Knit nine. This leaves ten stitches on the needle. Begin with the first row again and repeat the pattern fifteen times. Sixteenth time, knit the first six rows of the edging. Cast on fifty six stitches on the same needle, knit the fifty six stitches, and the seventh row of the edging, remembering that the first stitch of every row of the edging must be knit now and not slipped. Knit the eighth row of edging. Seam the fifty six stitches. First row of pattern. Slip one, knit three, star. Bring the cotton forward and knit two together. 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 Cotton forward and And knit one. Cotton forward and knit two. Slip one, knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Knit four, knit two together. Knit two, repeat from star. Cotton forward and knit two together. 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 Knit the first row of the edging. Second row. Knit second row of edging. Seam fifty five stitches. Knit one stitch. Third row. Slip one. Knit three. Star. Cotton forward. Knit two together. 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 Cotton forward. Knit three. Cotton forward. Knit two. Slip one. Knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Knit two, knit two together. Knit two, repeat from star. Cotton forward, knit two together. 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 Knit the third row of the edging. 
Fourth row. Knit the fourth row of the edging. Seam 55. Knit 1. Fifth row. Slip 1. Knit 3. Star. Bring the cotton forward and knit two together. 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 Cotton forward, knit five. Cotton forward, knit two. Slip one, knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Knit two together. Knit two. Repeat from star. Cotton forward and knit two together. 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 Knit the fifth row of the edging. Sixth row. Knit sixth row of edging. Seam 55. Knit 1. Seventh row. Slip 1. Knit 2. Slip 1. Knit 1. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Star. Bring the cotton forward. Slip 1. Knit 1. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward. Slip 1. Knit 1. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward. Slip 1. Knit 1. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward. Slip 1. Knit 1. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward. Knit 2. Slip 1. Knit 1. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Knit 4. Knit 2 together. Knit 2. Cotton forward and knit 1. Repeat from star. Cotton forward, slip 1, knit 1. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward, slip 1, knit 1. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward, slip 1, knit 1. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward. Slip one. Knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward and knit one. Knit the seventh row of the edging. Eighth row. Knit eighth row of edging. Seam 55 stitches. Knit one. Ninth row. Slip 1, knit 2. Slip 1, knit 1. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Star. Cotton forward, slip 1, knit 1. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward, slip 1, knit 1. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward. Slip one, knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward. Slip one, knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward. Knit two, slip one, knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Knit two, knit two together, knit two. Cotton forward and knit three. Repeat from star. Cotton forward, slip one, knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward, slip one, knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward. Slip one, knit one. Pull
pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cut and forward. Slip one, knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cut and forward and knit one. Knit the first row of the edging. Tenth row. Knit second row of edging. Seam 55. Knit one. Eleventh row. Slip one, knit two. Slip one, knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Star. Cotton forward. Slip one, knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward. Slip one, knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward. Slip one, knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward. Slip one, knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward and knit two. Slip one, knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Knit two together. Knit two. Cotton forward. Knit five. Repeat from star. Cotton forward. Slip one. Knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward. Slip one. Knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward. Slip one. Knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward. Slip one. Knit one. Pull the slipped stitch over the knitted one. Cotton forward. Knit one. Knit the third row of edging. Twelfth row. Knit fourth row of edging. Seam 55. Knit one. Begin with the first row again. Care must be taken to knit the proper rows of the edging. Knit the color the length you please. Cast off from the straight side 56 stitches. Repeat the edging pattern 16 times. Cast off. And sew the edging neatly on to the sides of the collar. Sew a narrow band of muslin to the neck part to make it firm. It will be observed that, in beginning the second time with the first row of the collar pattern, it is the fifth row of edging that must be knit, and so on every second time the pattern is begun. End of pattern number 51 Pattern number 52 from Exercises in Knitting this is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush, February 2009. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 52. Pretty Feather Pattern for the Border of a Shawl. Twelve stitches to a pattern. First row. Knit two together. Knit two together, make one, and knit one for four times. Knit two together, knit two together. Second row, seamed. Third row, knit plain. Fourth row, seamed. This is also a pretty pattern for toilet covers. End of pattern 52. Pattern number 53 from Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betsy Bush, February 2009. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee. Pattern number 53. Opened diamond pattern for the center of a shawl. 12 stitches to a pattern. 
This pattern looks extremely well in stripes of scarlet and white, 18 rows of each. For a large shawl, cast on 240 stitches. First row. Make 1, knit 2 together, knit 7, knit 2 together, make 1, knit 1, repeat. Second row. Seamed. Third row. Knit 1, make 1, Knit two together, knit five, knit two together, make one, knit two, repeat. Fourth row, seamed. Fifth row, make one, knit two together, make one, knit two together, knit three, knit two together, make one, knit two together, make one, knit one, and repeat. Sixth row, seamed. Seventh row, knit one, make one, knit two together, make one, knit two together, knit one, knit two together, make one, knit two together, make one, knit two, and repeat. Eighth row, seamed. Ninth row, Make one, knit two together, make one, knit two together, make one, slip one, knit two together, pass the slipped stitch over, make one, knit two together, make one, knit two together, make one, knit one, and repeat. Tenth row, seamed. Eleventh row, Knit two together, make one, knit two together, make one, knit three, make one, knit two together, make one, knit two together, knit one, and repeat. Twelfth row, seamed. Thirteenth row, knit one, star, make one, knit two together, Make one, knit five, make one, knit two together, make one, slip one, knit two together, and repeat from star. At the end of the row, knit two together. Fourteenth row, seamed. Fifteenth row, knit one, star. Knit two together, make one, knit seven, make one, Knit two together, knit one, and repeat from star. Sixteenth row, seamed. Seventeenth row, knit two together, star. Make one, knit nine, make one, slip one, knit two together, pass the slipped stitch over, and repeat from star. Eighteenth row, seamed. Begin again from first row. End of pattern 53. Pattern 54. Fan pattern. From Exercises in Knitting. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Gesine. Exercises in Knitting by Cornelia Mee Pattern 54 Fan Pattern Nine stitches to a pattern First row Knit two, make one and knit one for five times Make one, knit two and repeat Second row Seam two, knit eleven, seam two Third row Knit two together, knit eleven, knit two together, and repeat. Fourth row. Seam two together, seam nine, seam two together, and repeat. Fifth row. Knit two together, knit seven, knit two together. Sixth row. Seamed. Seventh row. Same as first. 
End of pattern 54